This is Dr. David Heber. Uh, I'm here to talk to you today about the next micronutrient, the third one, fats. Now you know this little funny looking W here, that's an omega. That's a Greek letter omega, and we talk about omega-6, omega-3, and omega-9 fats. These are the three major uh, chemical forms of fat in our diet. And you know, a lot of you have heard the saying, the fat you eat is the fat you wear. Well, it's true. You know, I can take a biopsy of your fat tissue, and I can find out what your diet was made of in the last few years. If you've eaten a lot of processed foods with added corn oil and other vegetable oils, you're going to have a lot of omega-6. If you eat a low-fat diet and you eat a lot of ocean-caught fish and you eat a very vegetarian diet, you're going to have more omega-3. And if your major fat in your diet is called olive oil or avocados, then you're going to have a lot of omega-9. Now, why is it important that we balance these different types of fats in your body? Well, this omega-6 actually stimulates inflammation in your immune system. And what competes with it is omega-3. These two actually go into your body, and at each point in the signaling mechanism of your immune system, these two guys compete. And everything was fine because, you know, fruits and vegetables have about 10% fat. They have a nice balance of omega-6 and omega-3, about one to one. And then what happened is in the 20th century, people started crushing seeds like soy, protein, soy seeds and corn seeds to make oil. And they made a ton of oil. And what happened was the intake of omega-6 fats went way, way up to the point that this became much more dominant and inflammatory in our tissues. And it got incorporated into all the membranes in our body. So what is the solution to this? Well, first of all, a lot of people say a low-fat diet is bad for you. What do you mean by low-fat? Well, you know, if you're eating about a 25% fat calorie diet, I think that's a moderate fat diet. Most Americans in the 1970s, by the way, were eating about 37% fat, which I think is too high. A lot of people talk about less than 30% fat. But you know what? It's not so much the percent of fat, it's the type of fat. And now the new USDA dietary guidelines talk about the quality of the fat you eat more than the amount of fat you eat. So if you eat a lot of healthy olive oil, that's healthy. If you eat ocean-caught fish, you're getting a lot of omega-3. So these things are good, these things are good. You want to limit the amount of omega-6. And the way you do that, reduce your unnecessary fat from processed snack foods, increase your intake of ocean-caught fish and fruits and vegetables, and if you want to cook your vegetables in something, spray some olive oil on them. Now remember, all fats have about 135 calories per tablespoon, so use them minimally. If you do deep fat frying, you're going to get a lot more calories. So those fish and chips and the french fries, they're an occasional treat. They're not an everyday meal. That's a little primer on the macronutrient fats and getting the right quality fat in your diet. See you next time.